Washingtonians looking to buy their next home to build equity versus rent, the challenges remain. Interest rates are shifting slightly every day, with many keeping a close eye on the Federal Reserve's recent 0.25 rate hike. If you're trying to buy, is now the time to lock in a rate before rates potentially get higher? To talk about the local housing market this morning, Adriano Torre, the founder and CEO of Rexmont Real Estate, joins us. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Good morning. My pleasure. All right. Well, Adriano, you know, tell us what's happening in the Seattle market right now, and could we expect any major shifts anytime soon? Definitely, these changes have opened up a window of opportunity for many buyers who have been a little bit hesitant mm -hmm. in the market, especially with all these news of layoffs that have been going on in the area, in the, in, in mainly in the tech industry. Mm -hmm. And the other part too, to keep in mind is uh, as now people are finding a home affordability, uh, you know, more within reach, uh, many buyers who were, you know, in that hesitant state of mind have come down the fence to be more encouraged mm -hmm. because of the monthly payments being more within the budget. And when people are looking at what they can afford, what type of mortgage they're going to go into, they're looking at those interest rates. So how is that impacting someone's decision to buy right now? Yeah, so uh, especially, you know, if we were to look back into the last six or eight months where things were changing so abruptly, right, with uh, extreme hikes on the rates, right now what uh, people are evaluating are their options on, especially first-time home buyers, whether they should keep renting or buying a home, mm -hmm. uh, and the advantages that come other than the financials uh, on owning a property, mm -hmm. which, you know, brings a lot of benefits when it comes to uh, raising a family. Likely, it may be that, uh, you know, uh, based on their family conditions, that they might be looking into downsizing as well. Mm -hmm. And so there are, of course, you know, many benefits that home ownership brings uh, on the table when it comes to uh, planning, you know, for the years ahead. Okay. And uh, some advice for folks that are in the market right now and are planning to buy, you know, what advice do you have for them if they are planning to do this right now and maybe they're a little uncertain about things because of the interest rates? The first thing that we need to do as a, as a home buyer, whether we are planning to buy a, a home for the first time or looking to upgrade or downsize, we need to check with a local expert, with an expert in the field that will be able to evaluate our financial capacity. And then as we look into our financial capacity, then from there we can plan ahead you know, of time to make sure that we don't make any rush decisions, but rather we uh, make very informed decisions that are going to bring a lot of peace of mind, especially in these times. Have you seen some people deciding to jump in and you know, buy a home when maybe they weren't thinking about it, but they're saying, I want to lock in that rate? Yeah, interestingly, you know, right now, as the market has shifted because we have lower rates, there are uh, various pockets of systematic multiple offers happening in the area. Mm -hmm. So they are coming back. We are not uh, uh, getting those offers being over the top, but you will see, uh, you know, pockets of three, four offers per available inventory in uh, neighborhoods which are, you know, desirable mm -hmm. to a certain extent. So maybe right about asking or slightly over mm -hmm. something Just like about that. one to three percent over. Interesting. Okay. Adriano Torre, thank you so much for being here with us this morning. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah.